of this one. Now we are ready to solve the ODE. So after we have the Fourier series expansion, so we'll let's copy this formula to the next slide. Yeah, here. Yeah, it should be one. Yeah, let me change to one. Yeah, I need to, you know. Yeah. Then we write our solution in components. Okay, so each one corresponds. So y zero corresponds to the first term. Y two corresponds to cosine two t term, and so on. Okay, yeah. So remember. Uh, in our review, I re yeah, I remember oh, we did one similar question. Yeah. So, yeah, I you asked me yeah because we did a similar example there. Yeah. So here, let me just do it another time. Yeah. Now, we consider the solution of this type. Yeah. What? Why sub x? So each term satisfy you know, that one, then we apply the linearity principle, we can get that solution. <laughs> linearity principle, right? Yeah. So the y, because we add all these components, all the components, the left-hand side, we have y, right-hand side, we have r function. Okay? Linearity principle. So let's solve this question, uh, you know, that equation. First, for y0, we just assume it's a constant. We want to determine that constant, capital C. Let's plug in, plug in into this equation, y0, n equal to 0, plug in, double prime gone. So, omega squared capital C equals 1 half. 1 half. So capital C equals 1 over 2 omega square. The first component. Okay? Yeah. All right. So that's the y, y0 component. Then the general yn component. Yn. Yeah, because n should be even number. n even. So here we use 2k. 2k. Yeah. All right. Capital A, we need to determine capital A, capital B. Yeah. So Y two K. Then we take second derivative. Yeah. So we can see the second derivative, negative four K square. Yeah. Negative four K square. Second derivative. Second derivative, then add omega square Y two K. Omega square Y two K. Then we have this equation. Yeah. So the right hand side, yeah. Right hand side, the general term. Yeah. Remember, yeah, so we change the two to one. Two to one. Yeah. Yeah. Now B, capital B are zero because no sign term. Right hand side, no sign term. So all the capital B zero. Capital A, you do division, you solve. Yeah. Capital A, you compare the coefficient part. Yeah. So capital A here, you do division. Yeah. Yeah. Omega square not equal to, yeah, because based on assumption, it cannot be zero. Okay. So this term cannot be zero. Based on assumption, yeah. yeah. So then our final solution, we put all the components together. Yeah. Yeah. So here we change to one. Okay. Yeah. So we put all the components together, we get that solution. Final solution. Yeah. Yeah. Homework, you do the same way. Just each step computation slightly different. Question. So, if on the homework we have like, we have a, a first term and a second term, and then we have the second term and equals one, and equals three, and equals five, do we do y zero plus y one plus y three plus y five? 
Yes, correct. Correct. Yeah. So, yeah, homework if it's one, yeah. So this this why you separate. Yeah, it's possible because you only have all the terms, right? All terms. So, so one, three, five. Yeah. Non necessary, yeah, because the first term is special. The first term always special. So you need to consider separately with other general terms. Yeah. The formula formula is slightly different. Y two K. Yeah. Because uh right. Y two K Are you talking about homework or this one? Oh, oh, homework. Oh, yeah. We will get that later. Yeah. So here, I because I I couldn't remember the the homework. Yeah. So when we get there, so then we discuss. Yeah. Why did you use two k here? Oh, two k here. The reason you look at only even terms left, right? All terms all gone. Okay. So that's why we only we need to find a solution for. Oh, yeah, two times k. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Because this, you know, always yeah. even, right? Yeah. So odd, we will use odd. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. So another one uh, will be relatively short. So we finish. So then we will won't jump back again. Yeah. Possible identity. All right, number four. Yeah. Number four, we prove. So here, yeah, we choose a different function. So this function is given. Yeah, this function is given. Then you just do Fourier series expansion. Yeah, if it's not given, then it may not be easy because you don't know which function to use. Yeah, here we know which function to use. Use that function. We want to prove this identity. Okay. Yeah, this identity. Yeah. It's non trivial, but we can apply the possible identity, we can prove it. Yeah. All right. Solution let's just uh, do the Fourier series expansion. Yeah. Yeah, that part is simple. Yeah. yeah. Even function. Yeah. So here, we just you know, do that yeah. standard formula, even function f function on 0 pi, so absolute value is gone. Yeah. So this one has absolute value because we only consider the positive half interval. Absolute value is gone. So we can find the integral e easily. Yeah. Then a n positive interval, it, absolute value gone. Yeah. But we need to do integration by parts. One time we get this, then second time we can get that. Yeah. Second time cosine n t, so that's why negative one to the n. Yeah. So here, yeah. So you can see yeah, we, we 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 use that many times. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this negative sign already we consider it. You know, integral cosine negative. Pi zero. All right. Then we can write the Fourier series of the R function. This is the Fourier series of R function. A zero pi over two. Then for other terms, you can see where n is even, it's zero, right? Even one minus one zero. Where n is odd, negative two, negative four. So only all the terms remain. Only all the terms remain. But there is a negative sign. It's a negative sign. Negative 4 over pi, negative 4 over pi, denominator n square, 1 square, 3 square, 5 square, and so on. Yeah. So from this formula, you can write the R function Fourier series expansion. Yeah. K 
carefully. Okay. Yeah. Then we are ready to apply possible's identity. Here, let me copy the possible's identity. Left hand side, right hand side. Okay. We use this formula. B all gone, all zero. B is gone. Okay, two a zero square, a zero, two a zero square. That's pi square over two. Yeah, pi square over four multiplied by two, so pi square over two. Yeah. Then square sixteen over pi square, sixteen over pi square. Then square one square, one over. 3 to the 4th, and so on. Okay? Yeah. Equals the right hand side integral, f function. f function square, absolute value gone, square on this whole interval. Yeah? All right. That one. Yeah. That one. Yeah. You know, symmetry, right? Even function symmetry. So you have 2, 2 times. From 0 to pi, yeah, pi, you know, pi cube over 3, cancellation, pi, yeah. Now, you do simplification, 2 thirds minus 1 half, 1 sixth. Yeah. So here, if you do subtraction, yeah, because this, you move here, you do subtraction, minus pi squared over 2, you get pi square over six. Yeah. Then you do division. Yeah. Do division division on that. So you get a pi to the fourth six times sixteen. That's ninety-six. That's you get the you know same thing. So that's how you, you prove this possible identity. Yeah. All right. Now let's look at the homework question. Yeah, so you tell me which part is hard. Yeah, that's, that's question number seven. <laughs> So this is a even function. Can you see that even function? I put it in Desmos because I couldn't understand. I couldn't. That's where I was having trouble. I didn't know. <laughs> it was odd. Now it was just yeah. Odd. Oh, that step you feel hard. Yeah. All right. So let me show you. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. I feel easier, but you know, for you, it's not that easy. Can you see the graph? Yeah. So let's draw the graph. Yeah. Triangle, yeah, triangle, yeah. When we look at the first half, you know it's a line, right? Straight line, line segment. If it's a line, we we find the two points on the line. Two points determine that line, right? The first point, when t equals negative pi, what's the value? Plug in t equals pi, negative pi. Zero. Zero. So that's this point, right? T negative pi, y axis, y zero. All right. When t equals zero, what's the value? t equals zero, one. one. So it's here. Two points determine that line. So it's this line segment, right? All right. Then similarly, this side. When t equals 0, it's 1, the same point. When t equals pi, 0, right? Pi 0 here. So that means this one, this triangle, okay? 
this is RT function. RT function is symmetric, even function, even. Okay, all right, all right. So now you have the formula calculate a zero, one over pi from zero to pi RT dt. Sorry, dt. One over pi, zero pi, one plus no, m one minus, right? Yeah, one minus t you can do this easily, right? Yeah, yeah. so a n. Sorry, two pi. No, you calculate that. Yeah. So then, you know. Components, yeah, similar to, yeah. So I don't know even odd, okay, yeah. So components. Yeah. So it's just because it's symmetric. Is that, so that would be the easiest way to try and understand that it's right. Yeah. Right. Symmetric because you can save one half of the computation. You don't need to calculate b. Otherwise, yeah, even you calculate all B zero, so it's redundant. Yeah. So we oh yeah. But if I give you non symmetric, then you need to calculate B. Yeah. So that will be harder. Yeah. So symmetric. So you take advantage of symmetry. Symmetry. Any other questions? Oh, components? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what question? Yeah, earlier question. Can you write on board so I can see better? Your question. So you just, I want to understand your question. Then I explain. Last one we did. That so wasn't the proof. Not the proof yet. Oh, yeah, no proof yeah. before that. Yeah. So, so for your question, okay. Yeah. So we separate, all right. So y zero, we keep. Oh, yeah. Let me change the color. Now I, I finally I understand your question. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, for our homework we. Based on the Fourier series expansion, our y takes y zero, y one, odd terms three, and so on. Okay, yeah. All right. So y zero assume that, so no problem. Then n n equals two k minus one, right? So we take two k minus one. So here we assume y two k minus one t 
equals a 2k minus 1 cosine 2k minus 1t plus b 2k minus 1 sine 2k minus 1t k equals 1 2 Yeah, then you calculate. Good. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So then you. Yeah. Other questions? Yeah. You have a chance to ask. If not, I want to show you one question. Yeah, I mentioned once before, yeah, but uh, month, yeah, yeah. I, I have about you know, 15 minutes. Yeah. I show that, uh, that solution, uh, Laplace transform, inverse Laplace transform. To pre try yourself first. Yeah, here, I didn't do animation. Our goal, we calculate this one. Yeah. Do you feel it's hard? Do you feel, yeah, if you calculate directly, because by our, our existing formula, we couldn't find anyone, right? Existing formula, can you see? Yeah, I couldn't find from our table, 6.9, section 6.9, you know. All right, here I use one, two, three, four step to do it. So that's, that's the first solution. This, this is relatively hard, so, but my recommendation is the second one second solution, not this one. This one, you need to do these four steps. Probably too hard for you. Yeah. So second, much easier than this one. But this one, as a practice, it's good. Practice. Inverse Laplace, this one, equal to easy, right? Yeah. Basic formula. All right. Then, shift, shifting formula. S shifting formula. S shifting formula. Apply S shifting formula. So do you have this? S shift by 1. By this formula, A is 1. So E, A, T. Then original little f, T. This is little f, T, right? Little f, T. Little f, T before shifting. Inverse Laplace transform before shifting. Little f, T. So you copy little f, T, but this shifting part you just multiply extra e function. Shifting formula. S shifting formula. Okay? So you practice S shifting formula. Here this one. S. This one. Can you consider? This is a Fourier transform of function. Yeah. If you cover this Fourier transform of Sorry, not for you. Laplace transform, Laplace transform of this function, right? Laplace, yeah. all right. Laplace transform of that little f. That little f is this function. Okay. Yeah. Laplace transform of this function is here, divided by s, divided by s. Okay. Then it's the integral. Yeah, because we take inverse Laplace. Inverse Laplace. So it's this integral. Okay? All right. This integral. Then we calculate in integration by parts all the way here. So we, we find it. We find its integral like this. Yeah. Okay. The last step. After the first three steps, now we are ready to do the last step. Last step from this one to this one. Another S shift formula. Another S shift formula. This time, A, A, A is negative one minus A. A is negative one. Okay. S minus negative one. S plus one. S minus negative one plus one. So S minus negative one. S plus one. S plus one minus one. Back to S. S plus 1 minus 1 back to S. Okay? All right. But uh, your A is negative 1, 
so you multiply e to the negative t. Then original ft, this is original ft. Original ft, all right? So you do multiplication, you get that. You get that, okay? All right. So this is relatively complicated, but it's a good practice, all these formulas we use. Yeah. But I do not require you, okay? Yeah. Here, I just show you this way as a practice. But, you know, for, your, for our final, you don't need to, don't need to try to do it this way. Yeah. I do not require that, okay? Yeah, yeah. So, you, you know, but the, as an exercise, it could be full exercise, yeah, that one. You know, easy. This one, yeah, four sequence. You know, sequence exercise questions. Three exercise questions. Yeah. You know, yeah, like that. All right. Then, my recommendation. I want to show you the second solution. Yeah. Much easier. Yeah, but there is a, you know, trick, uh, tricky step. Yeah, one step, a little tricky. If you figure out, so easy. Yeah. But I feel easier than this one. Yeah. So I recommend the second one to you. Yeah. All right, second one. Do you still feel okay split a fraction? A fraction, you know, numer denominator product of two functions. You want to, you need to split as two simpler fractions do you feel okay with that, you know, Max? You try a little bit. Uh, I haven't had a chance to. Yeah. The, the yeah. 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 Hard, yeah. It's a little bit tough to do that. All right. Here, I show. Uh, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So here, yeah, I forgot to do the animation. Yeah. All right. So here, you can see the key step is the split. We want to do the split of the original function. Yeah. Yeah. But this numerator, look at this numerator, constant one. I do this split. One minus x squared plus one plus yeah, because this is there is a cancellation, right? It's gone. So that's two. 2 and this 2 cancel out, becomes 1, but you put, put that back. This is the key split. Yeah. Because here, why this is a new way split? Because we never do minus a non-constant plus a non-constant, right? Yeah. We never do in this way. Yeah. yeah. All right. So here, 1 minus x squared. Why 1 minus x squared? Because here, s plus 1, we know it's a factor of 1 minus x squared. It's a factor, OK? All right. So now you minus x squared, 1 plus x squared. Yeah, we know it's that. Then we write separately. Yeah. Then, the, the first parenthesis over this denominator and all right, yeah. Second parenthesis over denominator. After, you can cancel it, right? After cancellation, one over two times s plus one. Yeah. Second one. Then that one minus because here minus s squared minus one over two s plus one s squared. My plus one. This we know is you can write s plus one s minus one. Cancellation. After cancellation, you have this. Can you see that? Can you the first split? So then we we write fractions separately. Okay, but the first one we use the second parenthesis. We have cancellation. Then this one, you know, we have we have one cancellation. We have that. This one, we know there is a formula. We can do that. But that one, we split sine cosine, right? Sine cosine. Okay. 
Feel okay? Yeah. Sine cosine. All right. So then we just apply sine cosine. You know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So here. Yeah. Yeah. Let me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So how about let's let's uh, do one. How to, to calculate this one? When we calculate this one, the key is how do we split? Okay, how do we? This step, the first first two steps, relatively hard. If you can do that, sorry, two. If you can do that, then. It will be easier, yeah. So s plus two. How how do you cancel s plus two? Here, we want to cancel s plus two. S plus two. Yeah. So in order to cancel cancel s plus two, can we use s square minus four to can cancel s plus two? Yeah. All right. So think about. S square plus four minus S square minus four. How about that? Can we make numerator like this? Yeah. Each parenthesis it will cancel one of the factor at the denominator. Each parenthesis can be used to cancel one of the two factor. Yeah. So denominator. So here, denominator has two factors, two parentheses factors. Okay, all right. This factor, we can have cancellation by first numerator parentheses. This factor can be canceled out by second parentheses in the numerator. Right, and the, right. Divided by, divided by what? Oh, sorry. Eight. eight yeah. yeah. Divided by eight. Correct. Don't forget, divided by eight. Yeah. All right. How about that? Okay. Then let's write separately. The first parenthesis, right after cancellation, it's eight times s plus two. The second cancellation, after cancellation, there is oh sorry. You know. What's the, uh, yeah, here. S minus two after the cancellation. Eight S square plus four. Okay. Yeah. All right. So then Laplace transform. Inverse. Uh, Robert's asking why we divide by eight. Yeah. Why divide by eight? So, Robert, you look at the numerator. Do you get eight? After you cancel out x square, x square, positive four minus negative four, that's plus four. Four plus four, eight. The numerator eight. But not balanced because our original fraction, the numerator is one. So you cannot just uh, simply make numerator eight. So you have to pull it back, okay? Recover to the original fraction after you do divide division by eight. Cancel out that eight, so you go back to original fraction. Yeah. Otherwise, different, different, two different fractions. Yeah, so you, you need to, we call an adjustment. So you, you, you make an adjustment to, you know, uh, make sure two fractions at the equal sign, yeah, equal sign, yeah, same. Yeah. 
two sides of the equal sign the same. Yeah. All right. So now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't see the. You know, yeah. Chat. Chat. Chat messages. Yeah. Possible for you to upload, record. Yeah. Watch. All right. I will upload tonight. Okay. Yeah, so this recording I upload tonight, and uh, together with my notes, you know, my notes, why divided by, yeah, right, so yeah, good, okay, yeah, get stuck while practicing, All right, yeah, so it's, yeah, it will be useful, yeah, it will be useful, yeah, yeah, so I will upload, yeah, all right, so now we are ready, yeah, so I don't want to drag too long, but we will finish soon yeah so one eighth one over s plus two yeah minus one eighth s over s square plus four plus one fourth one over s square plus four right yeah linear radio principle simply yeah this step should be easy okay yeah then we apply formula the last step we just apply formula s minus negative e to the negative two t e to negative two t one over s Inverse, it's one, right? It's it's one, yeah. So this times one, okay? Yeah. Inverse one over s, that's one. That one is cosine one eighth cosine omega t. Omega is two, two t. And uh, this one sine, but the omega should be at the numerator two. Should be at the numerator. So we need to divide it by the omega, so one half, okay, two, one half, yeah, sine two t, sine two t, okay, yeah, that's the answer. So this is the answer, yeah. So if you can split, yeah, I think the key, the key split is this one. Key split, key split, okay. All right. If you can do the key split, the first one, then so you're pretty much there. Right? So I will give you similar this question five points extra credit in the final. Okay, try to earn it. Five points extra credit. All right, that's it. So I will upload uh, tonight. Yeah, probably late tonight. Yeah. So together with this, you know, annotation uh, thing, yeah, right. So then, yeah. So you study, yeah, this weekend, yeah.